What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my gear progression guide for 2023. And so before we begin, I would like to say something where the best grinding location, guys, in BDO. So that way, after explaining this, this might help you guys understand where you want to be for your AP and DP in Black Desert Online. So without doing any journals, and if you guys just have your full pen to Vala Gears, you guys will, will start with 241 AP and 305 DP. With that amount of AP and DP, I highly recommend you guys grinding for those HP potions or MP potions, map pieces, and compass. And once you guys get 280 AP and 340 DP, you guys can start grinding at Orc Camp. And then as you guys can see, it's the best location for 280s and 340 DP. And it's the most efficient way to make money in BDO. And now if you guys look at like really high-end grinding spots, you guys can see Hex, Quint, Gaifen, for example. But then look at their DPs. They're all about, you know, full APs and DPs. And it will cost you guys so much money and silvers to get up to 300 AP and 390 DPs. You're only making, what, 200 more silvers from Orc Camp. So what I'm saying here is that, guys, is that once you guys just get 280 and 340 DP, that's the really, really juicy start where you guys can make easy money in BDO. So our dedication right now is that, you know, we don't even need to get more than 340 at this point because, you know, in order to go to Gaifins, Quint, and Hex, you'll need more about, you know, 40 more DP in order to get there. And so for those who are wondering how much will it be cost for, you know, to make 280 AP and 340 DP, it's going to cost you around, you know, 100 bill to 143 bill. And then let's say that we have a scenario like how much will it also be if it's you have 300 AP and 390 DP so that way you guys can start grinding in hex. And so this is my scenario for that one for example and then this is the result which is 612 bill guys. And so if you pull out a calculator for example if you subtract this and to my 280 AP and then 340 DP you guys will need about 469 bill more money in order to you know gear up yourself and so finally you guys can start grinding in hex and so what i'm trying to say here is guys is that you know you only need 143 bill in order to start grinding in red orcs and so it's not really too bad honestly comparing with hex when it's only making 200 mil more comparing with red orcs and so how much of grinding is that you know in order to get 280 ap well, let's say that we just grind in centers, which is like really, really good place to grind for money, guys. If you guys turn on aggress as well, especially. And then let's say that we made 630 mil every hour. And then if you just divide it by this and then divide it by that silver, we're going to need to grind about 228 hours in game in order to become 280 AP and 340 DP. And then after that, in order to go 280 AP to 340 DP to 300 AP and 390 DP, let's pull out this money into the calculator, which would be this. And then we're going to divide it by with the number of how much hours of grinding we'll be doing in Red Orcs. And so there, let's say that we didn't turn on aggress and then just normally we just make about 640 mil an hour. And if we do so, and then we do this and then divide it by that number, we need to still grind about almost 960 hours, guys, in order to get to 300 AP and 390 DP in Red Orcs. So welcome to BDO, where you need to be grinding a lot of hours in order to, you know, just get 300 AP and 390 DP. And this is just assumption, right? It might just take you around this much of hours in order to get there. But yeah, you know what I mean? In the end, it's going to take you that long of hours of grinding in order to start grinding in Hex, for example, which is the best location in order to grind for money. Also keep in mind, look at this one, which is Permal Giant Post, and you guys need 290 AP there and 380 DP. However, you guys are making less money, which is 423 mil there. Meanwhile, you guys can make easy money in Red Orcs. And so that's the also downside about this is that you guys will basically be stuck with 340 because even though you guys get 380 and grind in Giants, you're still making less money. And so why bother, you know, just grinding there when you can just, you know, grind in Red Orcs for 340 DP and that's it. And that's all you guys can do right now is just stay there forever basically until you guys can actually have make enough money to just get to 
390 dp so later in future i really wish like they actually buffed these kind of places right guys which is 290 ap 380 dp because giants is really really fun place to grind there's lots of mob there and it's really fun to grind there but however you're not making as much as money comparing with red orcs and you'll see a lot of those like right here for example ash forest right which you will need 300 ap and 390 dp however you're only making like 355 silver there and so if you guys just want to be efficient in grinding i highly suggest you just grinding in red orcs because all you need is basically 280 ap and 340 dp and you're making the most silver in the game so what i'm trying to say here is that like you don't really need dp all the way up to 390 and so you guys don't really have to worry about getting your dp after hitting 340 because once you guys hit 340 all you guys will be just staying in Red Orcs basically forever until you guys can make, you know, like 700 billions of silver in this game. So that is kind of depressing to talk about. The fact that you guys will be kind of forever stuck in like in Orcs. And then once you guys have enough DP for, you know, Guy Fins, then you guys can go there. Or, you know, go to Sakrai if you get bored or go to Bloody, for example. But once again, the best location would be, you know, just grinding at Orc Camp because it's just the lowest DP you guys can ever get in bdo and get the most efficient silver out of it so on my video guys i will show you guys how to get to 280 ap and 340 dp with spending the less money as possible in game and getting there as soon as possible and also i'm going to just go really fast just get this get that basically and then just explain a little bit the reason why behind it and if you guys don't know how to get these for example i'm just going to explain them at the very end so that way you know for the returning players they can understand the concept of what they need to get right away and then after that if you guys need some help like explaining things what how to get this how to get that then just keep watching the video at the end i will explain everything and so let's just get this started so in the very beginning guys very easy right just make a seasonal character and make all your gears to pen accessories armors and weapons that's so easy if you're not too sure please look at the guy how to get that and then in the end you guys want to end up having everything to pen to vala gears after that we want to get the artifact right here destruction just buy it in the market and these ones drops from the rift bosses or any mobs and so do your research how to get these but recommended extra ap against monsters because it gives the most monster damage on the mobs after that, we want to add some predation in there, guys. And we want to buy this one, Lightstone. It's like a rainbow Lightstone. And you can also buy that in market for everything as well. You can get 18 monster damage from that using predation. Or you guys can easily use this one called Rage. And Rage is super, super cheap, guys. But the downside with the Rage is that you guys actually lose one damage, right? Because the predation gives you plus 18 on monster damage. But this is hidden AP plus 17. And so this might be also good for, you know, PvP wise. Because this is also included on PvP. However, you know, you're kind of weak. And so you're most likely still going to die from PvP. Because until you hit 280 AP and 340 DP, you're not going to be efficient in PvP fights. Unless they have like, you know, same Tuvala gears just like you. And so if you guys don't mind using the rage, maybe like in the seasonal servers, right? And do the Arsha server there and then do PVPs for fun. Then by all means, you guys can get the rage. But, you know, you guys want to be efficient in your grinding. So I highly recommend you guys just using Predation. After that, you guys want to get Bronte's Bolt. In order to get this, you have to do a mountain quest. And so make sure you guys go do that. And let's move on to the next one. After that, we can get a free pen armor. Either you guys can get, you know, the helmet or glove. I personally don't recommend getting Tuvala armor, guys. The reason behind that is because if you guys get a red nose, for example, and then get it up to 10, and then, you know, enhance it yourself, it's about 33 billion plus another flame, which is like, you know, 2 billion. So technically, it's going to cost you guys around, you know, 34 billion or 35. However, Falling God, if you just buy from the market, you know, it's 33 as well, right? And so might as well just buy it in the market later in future and I'll show you guys how later on. But for now, I wouldn't recommend getting that. So just leave it as Tuvala Pen. And so I recommend you guys getting the Griffin or the Glove. And then once we get the Griffin, for example, then we can enhance it ourselves, right? So if you look at it, get it to Pen and then to level 10 and then 34. And then if we get it to Lebresca, right, it's 36. 
right? So it, we basically somewhat save money right there by like one bill. And so it's also really nice to make it yourself after getting a Griffin helmet. Or this year, we are getting a Fallen God armor for gloves. And so, yeah, you guys just want to get ready for that. And I personally recommend getting bags. The reason behind that is it gives 50 accuracy versus Liber only gives 25. And so in conclusion, guys, just again, either pick helmet or glove for your pan armor from Magnus. After that, you know, we want to get the first season graduation. And once we do that, we get a necklace, guys. And if you guys talk to Fugar, you guys can get this Kapusha necklace. After getting a necklace, you guys will start to realize that they actually recently announced, you know, the cloud accessory. So with this cloud accessory, you guys can turn it into any accessory. For example, your earring, ring, belt, and necklace. But since, you know, you guys made this as a first seasonal, you guys just want to use Kapusha necklace here. And then you guys won't have Kapusha belt here. However, you guys can use the cloud instead and replace that right here. And then use the cloud belt until, you know, the second season. Once you guys get the Kapusha belt here, then you guys will want to move on your cloud to the ring. And then on your third season, you guys can get the Kapusha ring right there. And then you guys can still use the cloud ring right there as well. Until you guys can get the Penjatina quest doing so. And you guys can get Pen of Crescent Guardian, which will give you guys 20 AP. And so, you know, from 17 to 20 is a big gap difference. And so I highly recommend you guys doing that quest for dailies. It's going to take you guys about one month to do so. After you guys get the Crescent Guardian right here, now you guys can move your Cloud Earring to the Earring. Once you guys make all your Tuvali gears to pen, you guys want to start reforming your gears. If this is your first time having a first seasonal class with your Tuvala gears, you can go talk to Jatina and then have 7 boss gears exchanged. For example, for helmet, for your pen Tuvala, you can get either Gaieth or Griffin, but I prefer Griffin. Gloves, bags or Liber, I prefer bags. Shoes, you can get Muskins or Ergons, but I personally recommend Ergons. Armored, Red Nose or Dimtree, I recommend Dimtree here. And main weapon, Zarka or Often, I recommend Often if you guys are Succession, and Zarka if you guys are Awakening. And then sub weapon, I recommend Kudum. And then don't get Nuver. Nuver is really bad for you guys, for early gamers and for PvE grinders. And then Awakening Weapon, you have only one option, which is Dandelion. I highly recommend either getting the Shoe one to Ergons or getting your main to Often if you guys are Succession main. The reason behind that is 257 right now, but if you guys get Often, you guys can get 260 and get yourself three more AP right there. And the reason for the shoes is 314 right now, but if you guys get Ergons, you guys can easily get two more DP right there and then get it up to 316. And so just like this here, guys, you guys want to get reformed everything right here, for example. And then you guys want to actually enhance it yourself up to level four. I basically did the quick calculation for you guys for February 20th for reforming your gears. So for example, for level one, it's going to cost you guys around about 224 mil if you guys get all the ingredients. And for level 2, it's going to cost you guys about 655 mil. And then after that, if you want to go for level 3, it's going to cost you guys 1.3 bill. And then for level 4, it's going to cost you guys 2.3 bill. And then on level 5, it's going to cost you guys 5.2 bill. Don't forget also that after 5.2 bill, you guys are also adding this um, piece of old moon. So every time you guys make a pen weapon or armor, it's going to get more expensive. So for example, when we're making the first pen defense gear, we're just adding 5 plus 4. And so technically, it's going to cost you guys 9 bill in order to make it yourself. And then let's say that we want to make a first pen weapon yourself, which will be 5.2 plus 1.5, right? So it's going to cost you guys about 6.7. For weapon, I think it's worth it if you guys make the Kurum one because Kurum is about, you know, 10 bill. Meanwhile, like Zarka is like 7 bill, often is around like 6.5 bill, and Dandelion is about 7 bill. And so, yeah, once again, Kurum will be a really good choice if you guys wanted to make it yourself for a weapon. And for armor wise, I would recommend shoes, gloves, and helmet. And I don't really recommend the armor. But if you guys still want to, go for it. But strategy here is that, guys, is you guys can just make it up to level 4 and don't even make it up to level 5 if you guys wanted to. The reason behind that is you guys can just buy it off the market. So, for example, if you just get it up to reform gear on level 4, now we can just buy Falling God whenever we want later on in future because all we need is 340 DP and reforming your gears up to level 4 is going to help you guys to get to 340 DP. 
So let's say that if you had level 4 reform right here and then get this to you know, level 10, we can easily just hit 344 DP just like that, guys. And so, yeah, I highly recommend just getting up to reform level 4. And then after that, if you guys wanted to, you guys can, you know, just buy pen if you want. And if you guys want to go evasion build as well, you guys can simply just buy musket instead of Urgon now, right? And then just go for musket for pen. And then bags, you guys can go for Liber, right? For pen. And then just put Kafras in there after putting this to level 10. And then get yourself evasion build later on in future. If you guys want to get the reform for your weapons, if you guys are succession main, I recommend for your main hand going for often. Reason behind that is because it gives you guys 3 AP. So 264 right now, it gives us 267. And then if you want more AP as well, you can reform it. But personally, I would recommend just changing it to Blackstar later on. And so yeah, just don't reform it and then just get Blackstar as soon as possible. However, if you guys are Awakening main, then I highly recommend you guys getting the Zarka just to get that more accuracy in Zarka versus Offen. So if you guys turn everything in, it would look something like this. Everything should be reformed. If you guys are Awakening main again, you guys want to get Zarka right here. If not, if you guys are Secession main, then I recommend getting the reform Offen. Alright, after this guys, you guys want to actually start doing your journals. And so if you guys click the journals right here, just Google all these and basically do everything. And if you guys do so from 260 AP to 316 DP, you guys can get all the way up to 268 and 323 DP. This will probably take you guys months to do so. So I highly recommend you guys start doing them step by step. And if you guys have 50 contribution points, you guys can replace Kudum and get Nesser Shuriken, for example. And it gives you guys, you know, decent amount of monster damage, plus it gives you guys critical hit damage 10%. That's the most important reason why we want to get this in early game, so that way we can get be efficient in that damage. It's basically also free if you guys have 50 contribution points, so I highly recommend you guys using this until I tell you guys to move on like, later on. For those doubters, let's look at closely between the Nesser versus Tet Kudum. You guys can get one more AP and then one more DP getting a Kudum. However, you guys will lose, you know, critical hit damage. Just easily just getting Nesser right here, guys, we can get it up to 10% critical hit damage. And, you know, we do lose, you know, 8 extra AP against monsters. But comparing 8 versus 10% critical hit damage, I personally think critical hit damage is more efficient right here in this scenario. However, if you guys can make your Kudum to pen, then maybe penning might be where it's at because it does give you guys 3 more AP right there, and then 3 more DP as well, and then you can also gain, you know, 12 monster damage as well. However, they do still have 10% critical hit damage, and so, you know, this is still good for like later on once you guys have enough AP and DP, and if you guys just want that critical hit damage, this is where it's at. Because in AP cap location for Serendia or, you know, Calpheon, the AP cap is only 5% there. And so if you guys have a max damage, for example, 753 in Biragi Den, then you guys want to start using some kind of, you know, those percentage damage. For example, those critical hit damage, right? And so and once we have enough of APs and DPs and can easily just get it up to 753, then we want to use something like Nessa right here, for example, guys, just to get that critical hit damage to be more efficient in grinding. Long talk short, for now, just use Nessa because it's free. All you need is 50 contribution points to get it. And if you guys don't know how to get it, just Google Nessa. And then it tell you guys how to get it. Basically, you know, the requirements is complete main quest of Adena's descendant from level 55, Valencia. And basically finishing Valencia quest. And then after that, you guys need to have positive karma. And then 50 contribution points. And then, you know, both normal and seasonal can actually use it too. And so during your seasonal gears, you guys can still use these guys. So it's really, really nice to use, guys. So go check it out. It's in Valencia. And so we did it, guys. If you guys get three Kaposhia necklace right here, it's going to take you guys about one year, right? The reason behind that is because every season you guys can get only one accessories. And so, you know, it's going to take you guys, you know, the winter season or summer season, fall season, for example. And it's going to take you guys basically one year to get these three accessories. And so just getting up to 267 and 322 DP is going to take you guys about one year. After that, it really depends if you want more AP and DP. For example, if you want more DP, what you guys can do now here for Reformed is getting up to level 4. And make this all level 4 right here, guys. And for the pen one, you actually want to make it all the way up to 10, right? 
The reason behind that is once you guys get it up to 10, then you guys can turn it into Lepresca and then get yourself a Falling God armor for your helmet. However, that's not the right step right now, so we're just going to leave it as pen and then just keep adding your Kafra levels up to level 10 if you can. So every time you guys get Kafras, just add all those Kafras on this pen helmet. Let's say that if you do add this all the way up to level 10 guys, look how much DP we get. Which is 344 just having reform right here and just having level 10 for Griffin helmet right here. And what do we say about red orcs? We just need 340. And so wow, look at this. We can basically finish our DP and graduate there basically with just 344 DP. And so after that, now let's work on our AP. Let's say that we were succession main and what should I do? So for here, for example, instead of often now, we want to get a black star right here, guys. The reason behind that is it has a lot of monster damage getting a main hand right here. So I highly recommend honestly getting main hand over awakening as well. However, you eventually want to get the awakening as well because it gives you guys monster damage as well there. And so, yeah, in the beginning, I would recommend getting main first. And then after that, get the awakening after that. And then lastly, personal reference for myself, but instead of Nesser now, I will probably, you know, buy Tet Blackstar as well, just to give myself more AP, DP, and two more monster damage. When I say two more monster damage, I'm comparing with Pen Kudum. As you guys can see here, I'm comparing Blackstar versus Kudum right here, guys, for the clean one. And then look at this. You guys can get, you know, one more DP from getting a black star right here. And you guys can get plus two more extra AP against monsters. And so that's the reason why personally I just like black star in general. Just to get that little boost of AP and DP in general. But Kudon can still be good once you guys start adding, you know, Kafras in there. And so it's up to you guys either you want to go for Kafras or black stars. It's personally all up to you. But personally, I just like Black Star, so I'm just going to go Black Star right here. Now, after getting three weapons right here, guys, now we want to start working on this one, which is called Vel's Heart. So you guys can either go for boss, world bosses on Wednesdays and Sundays, and, you know, try to get RNG carried by that, or just buy it in the market. It costs about $15.4 billion right now. If you guys do so, then you guys can end up to, like, 279 AP, 348 DP, but if you just want more, one more AP instead of Bronco Bolt, we can just go back to Tuvala Earring, guys, and get it up to Pen, right? Because it has 13 AP versus 12 AP on Bronte's Bolt. And so now look at this, guys. Congratulations. Now we have 280 AP with 348 DP, for example. And then now we can start basically grinding in Red Orcs if you guys wanted to. And look at this. The price, we only need basically 157 bill. But subtract, we can basically, you know, subtract also 61 bill because, you know, if you guys do the pen guarantee, it only costs about actually around 11 bill instead of 61. And so technically, you only need like 110 bill, right? And so it's actually not bad for this strategy. After that, though, don't forget, if you guys are grinding in Red Orcs now, instead of using Predation, we want to start using Roar. And the reason behind that is because they have really, really amazing damage just for Demi-Humans. And look at this, guys. We can get it up to Demi Human's damage of plus 30 right there. And so, honestly, with this gear, you guys can literally just max out and grind in Red Orcs. After having like these kind of gears, for example, and now we want to go to journals, make sure to do all that, and then go to crystals. And then let's just use something like beginner friendly recommendation, for example. And then for myself, I recommend these ones, which is called Awakening Spirit Crystals, which only cost 53 mil right now. And then power, which is almost 100 mil. And then corrupted magic crystals. The reason behind that is critical hit damage of 10%. And then after that, we want to use red fan crystal veiler. And then it costs about 50 mil for that as well. Friendly reminder though, if you guys come to the left side right here and then click hit rate calculator for PVE, it actually tells you guys like the hit rate for your accuracy in orc camp. And so right now we have 68%, so it seems like we're kind of lacking on accuracy. And so what we can do here is go back to our gear builder and go to crystals. And then here we can just basically just pull out two power and then just add Viper, which will be 350 mil, which can be kind of expensive. But now is the time to start making money anyway. So it's OK. And then you guys can replace two Vipers right there. And then now let's go see and then save it and then go back to the hit rate. And then now look at this. Now we have 78 percent, which is more than plenty, honestly. And so now give them a try in the damage and you guys will definitely see the difference now. 
and actually give damage on orcs. Veilers are very cheap, so make sure you guys use two of those all the time because now these are 100 mil. It used to be 50 mil, so it didn't really matter, but now it does actually matter. So make sure you guys use Veiler of two of these at least, plus you guys get a critical hit level plus two. And then if you guys have two of them, then you guys get plus four, so it's highly recommended for PvE grinding. After that, if you guys go to add-ons, don't forget to use your skill add-ons, for example. If you guys click on it, and then click one of the skills that has tier 3, you guys can get it up to all the way up to plus 30 extra against monsters. But the thing with this one is that it doesn't actually add on your monster AP right now with some kind of bug in BDOGarma.com. And so yeah, you just need to add, you know, 30 right there. So if I have six, 671 right now, I can just add 30 and then get myself basically 701 right now for monster AP. And then after that, consumables, if you come here, and then if you click my recommendation right here, guys, we can get it up to like 747. But if we use simple crown meal, we can get more AP right there, guys, and then get it up to 789 AP. So what's the AP cap in Red Orcs? Let's look at it. And we need 856, guys, in order to be efficient in grinding in Red Orcs to give the most damage in Red Orcs. And so I would say, honestly, 789 is really good. The reason behind that is, if you guys press K and then go to your skills, we always have e-buff right here, guys. And if we use e-buff, for example, we get like some kind of all AP. And then just like that from here, we can easily just get plus 20 from Mystic, for example. And then if you scroll down, we have a Rage Absorption. Either you guys can press Z or you guys can use some kind of ability once you guys have 100% stack. And then it gives you guys all AP plus 30 right there as well. So already we can get 50 AP just right that is 20 plus 30 right there. And plus, don't forget the skill add-ons once again. If you guys use the tier 3, you guys can use extra AP against monsters plus 30. So 20 plus 30 plus 30. So we technically can get up to 80 AP just like that, guys, just from skills and abilities. So technically, you know, we can add 789 plus 80 AP as well just from that because um doesn't have any systems here yet to add those up and so yeah i highly recommend yeah just having around 780 is good enough because it will just add up from your skill add-ons black spirit rage and your e-buff and then after that you know that's when like exquisite meal gets really really handy guys instead of simple crown meal once you guys max out more later on once you guys get stronger and the reason behind that is if you guys hover exquisite meal it gives you guys additional back attack 5%, critical hit damage 5%, and so on. And so that is why we want to get that most efficient damage, which is by from those percentage. And so that's why people are saying like Exquisite is really good for late game. But for those of you guys who are still early gamers, like 280s and 340 DP, I still recommend going for Crown Meal because you guys will lose a lot of AP by not using simple Crown Meal. And so right now we're using exquisite for example here and then we'll lose some amount of ap right there but if we use simple cron we can easily get that you know 40 more ap basically and able to get that ap cap on red orcs and so that's basically it guys in order to grind in red orcs you guys just need this much of ap and dp and that's it and this is all the gears you guys basically will need in order to start grinding in red orcs but then for those people who wants to still progress in the game let's talk about what we can do next to get yourself even stronger. So once again, friendly reminder that you guys won't need DP at all forever until you guys can hit like basically 380. So let's just keep it as 340, but then get yourself lots of AP so that way you guys can be more efficient in grinding in orc camp. And so from here, I would definitely go for, you know, Black Disto earrings, right? So instead of Tuvala earring now, we wanna go for Black Disto. However, we do lose four DP from that, guys. And so from previously, when we had Tuvala, we had 348 because we used the distortion now though. We lose 4 DP and then now 344. But then we do have a lot of AP, so that's totally fine. And so once again after that, I would rather get the second one as well after that. And then look at this. We have 336 DP and then 290 AP. And so now we're lacking 4 more DP. And so let's see what we can do next. Once we make this Griffin helmet to level 10, now we want to move this to Libresca and get it to clean if you guys want. And then you guys actually want to enhance it up to duo if you guys can. And then if you guys do so, then it will take you guys about 290 AP and then 342 and back again with 340 DP. 
after that, the reason why behind why you guys want to use Black Stars instead of God Ear is because once we get like J Hammers once in a while in BDO offered by Pearl Abyss, we can use those J Hammers and just get an easy RNG carry from Tet to Pen. But let's say for those people who went God Ear, and then now they have no options whatsoever with using just J Hammer. The reason behind that is because you know they went for Kudan, for example, on sub, and then went Awakening and Main on God Ear, and now they're kind of stuck with Duo to try. And hitting Duo to try for Kron is not even that hard with the fail stack as well. And so you basically have no usage of using J Hammer in this scenario. So in this case, honestly, one of them should have been, you know, Black Star Tet. And then one of them should have been maybe God Air. If you're Awakening Mame, I would go for, you know, God Air there because just to get that little more AP for yourself on AP damage. And then keep your main as Tet. So that way when the J Hammer comes, then you guys can tap that to pen attempts. And if you're lucky. Personally, I hit mine after 14 attempts. And then the sub, I got super lucky and I just one tapped it and got my, yeah, from Tet to Pen in one attempt. And so, yeah, uh, going back again, just make sure you guys have one Black Star at least. And then if you guys are Awakening main, then just go for a God Air Duo, something like that here, just to get that efficient AP. So after making your decision with your God Air and Black Star, now what we want to do is grind in Serendia location, guys, and now get into those cups. And so with the rings, you guys can add a cup in there and then give you guys self a 3% critical hit damage and can do that for both rings right here. And then after that, you want to do something with, you know, ear ring as well, which will give you guys hidden AP plus 3 right there. And then after that, you guys can also do that on the belt. Or you guys can get the DP and get damage reduction. Personally, I'm all damage, so screw that. And then go for hidden AP right there. And then after that, you guys can easily also just buy this from the market. It's only like 270 mil in the market, guys. And you guys can easily just get health point 150 right there. And so just don't miss that and just buy it right now. After that, we're pretty much in a really good situation where you either you want to start going for your DPs. For example, if you want to go evasion, if you're a ninja player or striker, for example, then you guys can get like start getting muskin pen. And then get there right there, and then Libra right here as well, and then start adding your know, Kafras in there once you guys get this Libresca to duo. Or just get this, you know, Falling God's armor first and get that to duo first before moving into these ones. And so it's really, really up to you guys. Like, really, like, it doesn't really matter at this point since you guys are going to be stuck in Red Orcs for a long period of time. And so, yeah, it's up to you guys. Either you guys want to go for your shoes now or for Duo Falling God for DP wise. Also, don't forget that you guys can add, you know, Vel's Heart and add more DP if you guys get a blessed Vel's Heart. But it is kind of pricey, which is 24 bill. And so instead of spending, you know, 24 bill on that, I would recommend definitely getting Falling God because, you know, it's only 33.1 bill. And so after you guys make decision right there, I just upgraded my Falling God there, for example, for Duo. And then after that, now I can start working on my armors here if I wanted to, or just go for like more damage. For example, on our Awakening, we can actually add a Garmoth Heart or Kronda's Heart. And if you guys add a Kronda, it becomes Storm and then adds another special effect, which will give you guys a one more slot on your crystals. And so for example, right here, guys, when you guys look at it, it activates one of these crystals on the top left. And then if you guys have a Garmoth heart, then it will activate on the right side as well. And so you guys definitely want to do those bosses if you guys can and just maybe get RNG carried. If not, just buy them in the market. And then in sub weapon, you can also actually add um, Garmoth heart in there as well. So if you guys can get two Garmoth heart eventually and then add in Fury as well, you guys can get all this nice effect as well. And so, yeah, I really recommend adding two Garmoth Heart in the end in late game. After that, if there you can work on your gloves or, you know, you can work on your Vel's Heart. It's really up to you. But then, yeah, let's change this to Libra, for example, if you're Evasion build. And then just add it up to, like, level 10 Kafiros. And it's going to cost about 33.53 bills for everything for each scenario. And then after that, we will... We'll Probably just upgrade our Vel's Heart, get a Blessed Vel's Heart, and get that 2 DP right there. And then go for Exalted because it's only like, you know, 4 more bill. And so, you know, it's really, really easy upgrade right there. And then just get 2 more DP right there, guys. And that's how we can basically, you know, get ourselves more DP. And then after that, we're basically almost done. And so after that, you know, hopefully we hit these to pens once we, you know, get RNG carried or 
through jhammers or whatsoever and then just go from there and then hopefully that you guys will hit pens here eventually and then after that you guys will basically end up with 301 ap and then 390 dp where you guys can start grinding hex with these kind of ap and dp after that i would personally recommend getting the capuchin necklace either like ogre ring but if you like the black spirit rage 20 percent then you guys can also go for tongrat my strategy right now is actually going for tongrat guys the reason behind that is if you guys go back to your character and press K and then scroll all the way down and look at Rage Absorption. There's a Black Spirit Rage 200% where you guys can get 20 more all AP instead of 30. And then attack casting speed instead of 25, it'll be 40%, which will get 15 more attack casting speed, which is really, really nice, honestly, for late game. And so my strategy here is that if I get a Tongue Grab Necklace right here and then get this to Tongue Grab Belt, which will give us 40% so far. And then these ones, I will turn it into Starlet Tongue Grad. Hopefully, eventually, you know, Ted or Pens. And then get, you know, 10 more, 10 more there. And then after that, you guys actually want to use some artifact that will give you guys um, Black Spirit. And it's called Black Spirit Rage Max Increase right there. And then, yeah, I'm just going to basically test this out in my future, guys. And so don't forget to follow and subscribe. And then I'll show you guys, you know, what's up, if this is a really good meta or not. But yeah, stay tuned for that. And if it's good, and I will be viral, baby. And then after that, we will get basically 10%, 10% here. And then now we need to use some kind of artifact to get 20% more. And then it's called Exceed, guys. And if you guys do so, then you guys can Black Spirit Rage 20% right there. And then ignore all resistance 1%, you know, stuff like that. But the most important one is that we can get 20% there. So in total, we get 20, 40, 60 on for these two, 80 from the artifact, and then 20 more. And so with this strategy, now we can get 200 Black Spirit Rage. And the thing is, if you use some kind of ability for the Black Spirit, it does have a 30 minute cooldown. However, if you just press Z, you can still activate it. And I actually even test it out and we're able to get, you know, all AP plus 50 there and then have attack casting speed 40% as well. And so if you guys do this right, you guys can basically turn this on, you know, every freaking 60 seconds. You guys will be basically be buffed for all AP plus 50 and then attack casting speed of 40%. So I'm really excited for this meta and test this out and then let you guys know in future. And so yeah, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ciao. And for those who still don't know how to get stuff for your gears, I will put all these on the description below guys. And I did actually explain really well on this video and so definitely check this out guys i will put the link on the top right as well and so if you guys are interested i will explain everything right here in this video and so if you guys are interested in that definitely click on it and then we'll see you there